Let's draw a lion today. Today I'm using printer paper and some Crayola markers, but feel free to use whatever you have around at your house. I'm going to be drawing with my black marker, but I've also practiced a lot. So feel free to use a pencil and pause the video whenever you want. I'm going to start making my lion towards the top and I'm going to jump up and down for an ear go over and then jump again for my other ear. To draw the rest of the face, I'm gonna go down kind of at an angle and then up and connect with that other one. Let me smooth that out a bit. You can make any kind of eyes that you want. My lion is gonna be little sleepy lion, so I'm using some smile faces for the eyes. And if this was one of my kitty cats that I have at my house, Enzo or Luca, I would make their nose here. But a lion has a longer face. So towards the bottom of the face, I'm going to make a V and then connect it. For the mouth, I'm adding a line underneath and of course going with a real smile. Now you see these two sides of the nose. I'm gonna put my marker down, go up in between the eyes, and then create an eyebrow type detail. Same with the other side. Now would also be a great time to add some whiskers. And I like to add a couple lines inside the ear too. If you want a female lion, you can add the body now. But for a male lion, we're gonna use a bumpy line for his awesome hair, his lion's mane, and make it really fluffy as it goes all the way around the lion. I have room for a little bit of his body down here, almost like it was the lion's school picture. <laughs> If you have more space for the lion's body, you could add so many details, like his paws, maybe his belly, maybe his tail. Since I drew with my black marker, my colors might blend together while I'm coloring. One of the best parts about art is choosing your colors. I'm gonna keep it simple today and use yellow for his fur, brown for his hair, if I can find it, there it is. And I think I'm gonna add green for the background. When I'm using my markers, I always try to keep the cap on the back or close by so I don't lose it. And when I'm starting to color in, sometimes you can think the marker's not working. So try to hold it sideways, almost like it's a paintbrush. And I'm gonna make these swooping circles as I fill in. I'm trying not to cross the black marker because I know it will melt down together, but a little bit might look cool around the edges like shading. So let's see what happens when I speed this up. I'm all done with my lion. Wow, I spent a long time coloring it and I cannot wait to share it with all my friends. If you make this video, I'd love to see how it turns out. And make sure to check out my channel where I have lots and lots of awesome art videos for everyone.